I've made a copy of ODB 55 and I'm calling this one ODB 56 Employee Search Form Part 1. I'm going to add a few more fields to the form we've been working on and try and make it look a little nicer. The first thing we're going to do is add new fields to the filter table. So I'll go into Tables. I'm going to right click on Table Filter and edit that. We're going to add in the group ID and we want this to be a number so I clicked N on my keyboard to make that a number. We're also going to add in a start date min. We want this to be a date so I'm clicking D on the keyboard and this will be the lowest value for the start date. We're also going to add in start date max. This will also be a date. And this will be the highest value for the start date. I will save the table and close the window. Now let's go into our forms. And I'll make a copy of ODB 55 and paste that as ODB 56 Employee Search Form Part 1. Now let's edit the form by right clicking and clicking on Edit. The first thing we're going to do is move these fields around a little bit. I'll move the name a little to the left and up. Department ID to the left and up. And the button we're going to move this down and to the left. Now let's add the fields that we just added to our filter table. We're coming down to Form Navigator. I'm clicking on Form to select that. Then I'm coming down to Add Fields. We want to add in the group ID. And we did allow this field to accept nulls when we did the department ID before we started video 55. Double clicking to add it. Now the start date min, double clicking to add it. And the same with the start date max, I'm double clicking to add that. I believe they're all behind our subform here. So I'm going to click on the group ID and hold down shift group ID label. Now I'm clicking on the form to give that focus and using my arrow up key. I'm going to hold down control and click on the group ID label to move that over and then on top of our text box. Selecting them both and moving that up. I'm going to hold control and click on the group ID text box. I'm going to right click and down under replace with, I'm going to choose list box. Now I want to open up the control for that. So I'm going to click on the control button. We want to make sure the drop down is turned on. It's set to no. We want this to be yes. Then under the data, we've got group ID. We're going to change the list contents from list value to SQL. And I'll click on the dialog box button to open up the dialog box. We want the group table, add, close. I want the group name and the group ID in this order as we explained in previous tutorials. Let's run it. Runs okay, I will save it and close. While I'm working on the group ID, I'm going to change this from group ID to group for the label. So I'm holding down control and selecting that label. I'm going to take off the group ID. I'm going to do the same thing for department ID. Hold down control, select department ID, and take off the ID. Now let's bring in our start date min. I'm selecting them, 
clicking on the form to make sure that it has focus and using my arrow buttons to bring that up holding down control selecting the label moving that over and up a little selecting them both moving it to the left now let's do the same with the start date max Clicking on the form to give that focus and using my arrow keys. Holding down control. Clicking the label to move that over on top of our text box. I'm going to click on the start date min and the start date max holding down control. So I've got just those two selected. Now I'm going to open up the control. We want this to have spin button, yes. Repeat, yes. And down at the bottom, we should have the drop down. There it is. Yes. Let's make this height 0.25. and we'll do the same for the text boxes for last name department and group so I'm going to click on the last name field hold down control click on group and we want department as well and let's make that height 0.25 one more thing on our date fields that I forgot so I'll select those again start date min and start date max holding down control we want to change the date format to be a four digit year so we want day day month month year 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 let's save this and save the database we'll pick up from here in the next tutorial Thank you.